Welcome to your 15 minute hit cardio circuit today. You are 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for six different exercises and we're going three times through. These are all body weight movements. We're doing two foot hops, squat pops, mountain climbers, a lateral lunge with a pop, and some twist jumps, all right? All of them with low impact modifications or pushing it as hard as you can, whatever works best for your body. Get ready for that tone. You're coming with me for a walk in place. Toes straight ahead, feet hip width apart. We're pumping opposite arm, opposite leg, and we're working on posture here. Always thinking about our kinetic alignment, all right? Gentle pull in on that belly button to support our spine, chin tucked and our head pushed back so our ears are over the shoulders, over those hips. Positive strong posture for five more seconds. We're gonna go to a lateral lunge with a reach across our body. Toes wide, straight ahead. Sit down into one leg and then you're going to pivot those feet, reach an arm up and across toward the far corner and we go back to the beginning. So pivot, toes straight ahead, toes, knees, hips, straight line in that lateral lunge. We're gonna reach across, reach and point that, keeping that shoulder away from those ears and squeezing those glutes under so you feel a big stretch through the front of that hip. As we do this into the lateral lunge, you're gonna feel that stretch to the inside of that straight leg as we squeeze those glutes and pivot those feet. Nice big stretch, one more, and we're gonna switch sides. Finish that last one and then go ahead and switch. Get a little bit longer on that second side just because you already know the movement, right? Important, toe straight ahead and then stack it. Feel it engage those hips. Pivot those feet so everything is in that nice alignment. Squeeze the bum like you're tucking your tail under. And reach across with that shoulder away from that ear. Nice stretches through the hips, through the back. Five seconds, one last one. We're going to a jog in place. So just like that walk in place, a little bit more dynamic here, pushing through those toes, adding that light impact. Or you can go no impact and do this as a march in place, driving those knees up. We're only 30 seconds on this one before we go into our twist jumps, which are a little bit more complicated and push that coordination. So take some time. That's why I introduced them in the warm up four seconds and get ready, we're going to those twist jumps, so side to side. We start with those feet hip width apart, pointed straight ahead, and our elbows so our body is twisted. And then we're gonna switch. And we switch back and forth, just like that. Now again, if we're not jumping, you can start in that quarter squat, and you just go opposite elbow, opposite knee. So you're still getting a twist on the body, a little bit more leg work, and we're still keeping those toes pointed straight ahead and hip width apart. Okay, so our hips and our feet are going together. 10 more seconds, bringing that heart rate up, nice and slow and steady. Three more seconds, we're gonna go to an alternating squat pop. So we're starting off in neutral, toes straight ahead, hip width apart. We're gonna step one foot lightly out to the side, and then we're gonna pop up and reach towards the ceiling. Step with that all to opposite leg. Down and up, down and up. You can even add a jump in between. Down, up, down, up, and then pop in two. We wanna slowly increase the intensity here as we reach down into that squat. Our chest stays up nice and tall. And we're sending those hips down and back. Five more seconds, and we're finishing that warm up. Keep those feet moving. Our workout is here. Our first exercise is two foot hops. We're gonna go into a quarter squat. We're gonna take a small jump forward and land on those heels. Toes, knees, hips need to stay in a nice straight line, and then we're doing those squat pops. Not alternating, here we go. 
20 seconds on, landing heel toe. As you land, everything stays in that nice straight line, only jumping as far as we can. Your low impact is a step forward, heel toe. Step forward, heel toe. Everything aligned. Now we're going to that squat pop in five seconds. If you're higher impact, you're up and down like that. If you're no impact, you step it out. Here we go. Reaching up and sitting down as you reach overhead. Shoulders away from those ears. Feet are going a little wider than hip width. <sighs> Sitting down into it with that chest up tall. Two seconds. <sighs> yes. Now you're going into a mountain climber. Hands underneath those shoulders, driving those knees up. Three seconds. <sighs> you can drive the knees up and in as you push those hands through the floor. You can march them and you're pushing through those toes. You can also add a little bit more speed and go on an incline. There's no back pain, no problems in these motion. Two seconds, beautiful, they're flying by. Going into that lateral lunge pop. So toes straight ahead, feet wide, you're gonna sit down into one leg, come with me. You're gonna push through that foot, then you're gonna squeeze your heel up towards the ceiling. My feet are slightly staggered here. And if you're not jumping, you can come all the way back to the middle and then do a side leg raise. Down, up, two seconds. All right, we've got twist jumps, just like warm up. In five seconds, we're going side to side. You ready? Let's hit it. Elbows are lower than those shoulders, about 45 degrees. We're staying up tall and long through the crown of the head. We're twisting in your low impact modification. You're right here. Five more seconds. You can get your heart rate up without ever leaving the ground. Intentional movements. Lateral lunge pop on that opposite leg. Out to the side. Push that foot through. Come with me. Pushing the foot through the floor. The leg that you're lunging into is the leg that you're squeezing that heel towards that ceiling. Down, toes, knees, hips, straight line, pushing it up. Remember, if you wanna go light on that landing, you can go all the way in for that lateral leg raise. That's round one. Are you ready for two more? You know what's coming, two foot hops, all right? Toe straight ahead, quarter squat, here we go. Don't forget those modifications. You do not have to jump either way, whether you're stepping or hopping, you're landing heel toe quietly. Five more seconds, chest up tall, belly button in. There you have it. You've got squat pops in five. Don't forget, you can take the jump out. You can step it out. Here we go. You can even alternate with a step and a reach, and then two pops. Either way, we're popping it up. We're reaching towards our goals. Five seconds, chest up nice and tall. Don't worry about reaching all the way down because you're gonna feel those legs work no matter what. Five seconds, we're going mountain climbers. Get ready in that full plank position. Hands underneath the shoulders. We're driving those knees up. The belly button stays pulled in. The feet stay hip width apart. You're already halfway through. You're feeling it in the chest and the shoulders and the core. Work and squeeze, three. Remember, you can use the incline. And you can take the jump out, a dynamic movement all together. Lateral lunge pop, into, here we go. Sitting down deep, toes, knees, hips. Toes stay pointed straight ahead as you squeeze that heel towards the ceiling. It's like you're jumping and pushing through that leg. Five more seconds. We're quick today, but you're gonna feel that heart rate climb. It's gonna fly by. Twist jumps in three. 
going side to side. Here we go. Feeling that core work. Driving those elbows behind you like you're beating off whatever's trying to hold you back from your workouts, from your goals. We got soft knees. Five seconds. Whether you're jumping or doing those squats, whoo, you're gonna feel it work that core. Lateral lunge pop on the opposite side in three. You coming? Yeah, you are. Sitting down deep, squeezing that heel towards the ceiling. That chest stays up nice and tall. My belly button is pulled in. We're squeezing and working. Two seconds. There it is, round two. Complete in the books, into round three. One more time through, two foot hops in two seconds. Here we go. Now, if you really wanna take it up for round three, jump farther while continuing to land gently, lightly with the knees in line with those toes. Feet straight ahead, hip width apart, three seconds. Beautiful work squat pops and you're only in it for 15 minutes today so let's push it all the way to the finish down and up popping reaching working towards your health and fitness goals we keep that chest up nice and tall you're sitting down deep and digging deep for your motivation 30 seconds these are sure to get that heart rate up as well as these mountain climbers. There's no mountain too high. We're gonna get it. Get ready. Here we go, drive them up. Punching those hands through the floor. Chin tucked, crown extended. Feeling it work a little bit of everything. Driving those knees up, working. Five seconds right here, right now. I'm giving it your all. Lateral lunge pop. <sighs> Last round, three more exercises. Sit down and out to the side and squeeze that heel towards the ceiling. Feeling it work in that outer glute. Toes, knees, hips, straight line, three seconds. Oh, feeling that work, that leg, right? Yeah, twist jumps in five. You're almost there. Side to side, hands and feet in opposite directions. Shoulders staying away from those ears. Relax them down. Don't let those elbows get up too high. Stay nice and soft. Keep those feet shoulder hip width apart. Three seconds, pushing. Oh, one last one, lateral lunge pop, and you've earned your breathing, your cool down and stretch. Here we go. Last 20 seconds. Drive that whole foot through the floor to pop it up. That belly button stays pulled in as we squeeze that heel towards the ceiling. We're staying up tall and long. Chin tucked, crown extended. Shake it out. Take that nice deep breath in here. Reach up towards the ceiling. Exhale. Stretch out that chest. Circle those arms. One more deep breath. We want to bring that heart rate down nice and slow. Circle. Breathe. We're going to hit the floor right off the bat. We're going to go into that hip flexor stretch. So 90 degrees on those legs into that lunge position. Back toe flexed under. We're going to squeeze the glutes. Reach up towards the ceiling. Add that small lean to the side. Shoulder away from that ear. Only adding that reach and lean if we feel an increase in stretch. Feeling that stretch through the front of that hip, down into that thigh. Most of us are very tight here from sitting and driving most of our day. 
Go ahead and switch sides. Keep in mind, there's not a lot of time to cool down and stretch here. All right, so same thing opposite side. Flex that foot, reach up, add that lean. If you feel that increase in the stretch, big squeeze on those glutes to tuck that hip under. Oh, it feels so good. In through the nose, out through the mouth, calming that breathing. Beautiful work. And we're going to hit your child's pose to finish. Toes together and knees wide. Reach those hands away from your body, but roll those shoulders down and back away from those ears. Big deep breath in here. Expand the belly, expand the ribs, exhale. Sink down into that stretch, letting those hips fall towards those heels, pushing those shoulders towards the floor. You can also do this with the hands up high to help if we're struggling with bending those knees, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Deep breath in, expand the belly. Feel that stretch deep in the ribs, exhale. 15 minutes of hard work, 15 minutes towards your goals. It makes a difference in your health, in your fitness and in your life. If this is the time that you have, you made it count today and that's what's most important. I hope you are feeling that kinetic balance, that awesome alignment. 15 minutes for you, complete, great job. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for knowing that you are worth the extra effort and the energy. And I hope to see you next time.